Good afternoon, dear traders. Today we will follow the theme about trading levels and level retesting. This webinar will be not like only theory, but involving real practical situation and my deals. Here you need to understand that market mechanics working not only in forex or with stocks. Big capital in every kind of market works by the common rules. And if you understand the role uh, of big capital, if you understand the rules, you can find the best opportunities with better chances and probabilities to receive strong deals with good potential. Firstly, it's necessary to remember that the market is not simple throwing the coin with 50% chances. Look at this simple example I'll show you. Just a minute, I'll share screen. Okay, and look at this picture. Let's suppose you don't know nothing about trading levels and think that uh, you're thinking that uh, you can choose 50% of coins rule. And uh, how to cover commissions? Maybe you need to uh, to fix a little bit more with your potential. For example, for each 100 US dollar risk, you need to make 100, approximately 120 US dollar profit. I pointed at this chart the price where a novice trader can unexpectedly decide to, th to sell the instrument here. While the novice see that at this chart the price moving lower yeah and it's clear for him that this price can move lower and lower he didn't know nothing about trading levels nothing he simply throw in the coin and try to make his chances chances by 50 percent rule and to cover commissions a little bit more so here you can put stop loss orders at any distance and try to calculate the same profit and with the complete confidence the novice trader thinks that he's right it's logical like throwing coin and once again Let's look at this picture. You can put your stop loss order here, here, or here, or higher. But if we support the rule of throwing coin, we need to fix here, first aim, here stop loss, here aim, to fix commissions a little bit more. Second stop loss, you need to fix here. Third stop loss you need to fix here. For every kind of distance, stop loss distance, you need every kind of take profit distance. So, and uh, let's look at the next picture. The previous chart, it was a chart of oil brand, and you can see this chart here. Here was this situation. Even despite of sell candle here, you see that strong levels can kill coins probability, stopping here the price movement. And every kind of stop loss orders will be touched. And you remember, 
One, two, three. One, two, three, and even more and more and more and more. It doesn't matter where you put your stop loss. <clears throat> and I can say for you that it's even worse if you are trading without stop loss orders or using martingale system by adding for your loss open position such a way will completely will follow to disaster at one trading day it will be trending movement and you will lose all your deposit here so level is a key point where you can build your positive statistics, optimize your trading system, and to be at the positive side of your mathematical probability. You can see here that with a short risk, for example, your entering point, point will be here, and your short risk will be here. So you see the short risk here, but it's a big potential. For example, uh, at this picture, you see that uh, you really at the positive side of your mathematical probability. At this example, you can see that a short risk you can make a potential for each 100 us dollar risk more than 500 us dollars and it's a name of pro it's an aim of professional trader it's your global aim as a professional trader is try to find strong prices where you can expect big movements only big movements only probability of movements can give you a chances to be at the positive probability side it's a kind of market understanding market environment i will show you that it's not important what market you are trade difference will be only with behavior and volatility of each instrument you share so today we will we will be speaking closely what if the uh, what if the level retesting and why it will add probability for your trades of course such situations are more rare but you are here for high quality trades, not to play a simple game like casino. I will paint the standard situation level retesting. For example, at daily chart, you pointed very strong level from which price renew the new high. Just a moment. For example, after strong up uptrend movement, price stop at this price. Price. Let it be twenty. And you see that after retesting on this price, moving higher. So this price will be interesting for you you understand that only big movements can support and can give you additional guarantee that this price is very important so then you see pullback and level retesting you see that here somebody it's not necessary who for us 
but we see that somebody holding this level. So it's additional guarantee that here you find a big buyer, big limit buyer. So here you need to, to remember, we are not insiders. We are trade probability and our statistic. And of course, we can receive here a loss. It's a kind of our statistic. It's a kind of our business. But the main aim is in the whole our statistic to be at the positive probability side. You, you need also to understand that false breakdown or false breakout, it's also a normal picture, but it, it's another thing about false breakdowns and false breakouts. In this webinar, you need to understand what is level retesting. And that level retesting is additional guarantee that here you find a big limit buyer. Or if you sell short, you understand that here big limit seller. Let's move into the next picture. Okay, so now let's move with some practice from real situations. Let's start with shares and it's a middle term deal. You can see here clear and understandable uh, channel. Here. 55 to uh, 63. Price moving below this channel, and you see it at weekly chart and at daily chart. And let's see at this chart. So price moving below this channel, and then you see absolutely clear, clear, clear level retesting. 63, 66. With a little breakdowns. But here you understand where you can put your stop loss order. You understand that it's a key price where you, your scenario will be false. And you see here that somebody holding price here. And it's additional probability that you'll find big limit buyer. And uh, the next week, you see that price moving higher. This is weekly chart. This is daily chart, and you see, it's a limit order, limit interest. Price holding here, and if we can't move in lower, so we can move higher, moving higher. And here you can build your positive mathematical potential quite a short stop loss and quite a good potential. Okay, now let's another, let's another question, another picture. Please look at this picture. <clears throat> and to prove for you that it doesn't matter even which time frame you are trading, let's see this intraday situation. Share deeply fell after news release, but 
you know, Adobe system, it's a quite impressive company and popular company with strong fundamental. And this strong fundamental of the company immediately attract buyers. And you see quite an aggressive pullback here. This is a hourly chart, one hour. You see very strong pullback. And to make any decision, we use five minute chart and one minute chart. So, here we see an intraday chart mirror level. And maybe a small channel here, yeah? Price moving below this channel. And now we receive strong and understandable mirror level. And what is level retesting? Let's look at this picture. Cent by cent, 136 and 61. It's a level retesting and it's additional guarantee that here you find big limit buyer. And of course, uh, can we expect here false breakdowns? Yes, it's a real story and it can appear. But once again, it's not a story about breakouts and breakdowns, the environment and so on. Let's look at the next picture. It's a Forex. Yeah, it's and finally Forex. Uh, I especially made for you pictures from American market, from intraday charts, and finally at Forex. Simply, you, you need to understand that it doesn't matter which market you are trading only you need to count volatility and instrument behavior and this is a deal from january look at this chart you see where this level was formed here and quite a sharp sellers was here and this price is keep price for us and we count with this price so and uh you see that globally we have mirror level and after false breakdown you have an idea of pullback pull back into this channel, pull back, pull back and moving into the next key level. So we have an idea, we have strong level and we can work locally. Let's look what's happened locally. We have strong limit level and it's a daily level. It's not only a local uh, level and it was very strong level. And you see here after breakdown, false breakdown, level retesting, send by send, level retesting, you see? And it's a Forex. As I said, it doesn't matter what, what kind of market, what kind of time frame you, you are trading. Big time frames give for you more guarantee that this level will be stronger. And let's look at this picture. It's, uh, it's the same situation, but a few days later 
you see, a few days later. But what we see at this picture, at this chart, after a few days of holding position, we see the new local level and we see clear retesting with an opportunity to add for my first position. And total risk here in non-profit area. So if price moving here, my scenario will broken. But you see that my middle price here, average price, my average price here, and my risk only to receive non-profit level. But here I have more than twice of my position. So big volume, clear key prices, level retesting, it's very high opportunity and probability to receive good potential and good profits and this trade. And let's look what's happened next. Price aggressively, aggressively moving higher. And here I covered 75% of my position. Why? First of all, I fix uh, my mathematical advantage. Second, because of risk of daily ATR. You see, it's uh, quite, quite a usual candle and we need to understand here that it might be a little pullback here because of ITR. So I fix only 75% of position and my profit risk ratio seven per one, but I hold it 25% of position. And let's look what's happened next. Here next morning, price moving higher where I fixed, automatically fixed because new level, strong level. And finally, when I covered 25, another 25% of position, my whole result was 11 and 52 per one of profit risk ratio. And it's quite a good result. And you need to understand, once again, it doesn't matter, Forex, American market, Russian market, or in other markets, only behavior, only volatility, only strong and key points, key prices. You can build, build your, from your potential, your mathematical statistic. So I expect that I help you to understand better levels and levels retesting and what advantages it can it can bring for you and please do not forget about risk management only automatically approach can save from your emotions and our company Gerchik and co bring for you such an opportunity and please please use it and if this video is helpful for you please like this video and share. See you, be professional and have a nice day.